fish started, uh, anadromous fish and salmonid types fish started to be uh, moved around the world from England in boats, fertilized eggs. And fertilized eggs were sent to South America in uh, as early as about 1900, the turn of the century. And wild runs of mainly brown trout were established early on in Argentina and they over the 50, 50 to 70, 80 year period they continued to spread all the way around south, the tip of South America and into Chile and uh, in the case of uh, Oregon and Washington there were actually rainbow fertilized rainbow eggs from Northern California that were also sent to Chile to establish steelhead runs in Chile. The runs of brown trout in South America, a lot of them came from fish that were, I believe, from Scotland and possibly England. And there's possibility, too, that they might have gotten some brown trout eggs from Scandinavian countries. And uh, now they have great runs of brown trout in uh, southern Chile, southern southern Argentina, and uh, Tierra del Fuego. In Chinook, early on, the, the, the fisheries people in Chile realized that southern Chile was very similar to British Columbia, Oregon, and Washington. So they started looking for fish that they could uh, import. So they started importing Chinook salmon, eggs, and also coho and also uh, steelhead from uh, Oregon and Washington primarily. And they've successfully taken to the point now that if you look at where coho salmon come from, where the most coho salmon are, you don't consider their origin as to whether they're wild or hatchery. Uh, the coho salmon probably in South America in Chile in their aquaculture system probably outnumber the total coho salmon that come from Alaska by a factor of maybe three to one. Possibly 10 to 20 million coho adults are marketed out of uh, from aquaculture facilities are marketed out of Chile to Japan and to North America as opposed to a couple million that are harvested commercially by Alaskan uh, saltwater uh, fishermen.